Oh, too hot. Can you too turn hot. Down? It's too hot. It's steaming, folks. It is steaming. It is steaming. Okay, go. You go. Okay, so uh, Coco. Yes. I'm so excited about this podcast. There's so many things I want to talk about. What Let me tell you something. I'm here. I'm outside, Okay. and there's the paper straw, and there's the plastic straw. The paper straw sucks. It sucks. But I feel like I'm saving the planet. You ever feel like you're on Instagram, and, and you can't eat, drink, or touch anything, or you're going to well, just die? Well, here's the thing. I saw on Instagram that The Rock was pregnant. Is The Rock currently pregnant? No, he is not. Dwayne The Rock Johnson? Yes, that do kid. Do we know this is true though? Is he? I mean, we, he's not showing know? and it's been 12 months. <laughs> I follow this uh, this account and they explain the myths of things, so. I love those types of oh, things. Oh, it's great. So Jack-O-Lantern. Yeah. There was a guy named Stingy Jack in Ireland who made a deal with the devil we were, I already told you this one. But it's great. It's uh, great. I immediately saw you get bored. <laughs> it was immediately like, The light side. Yeah. Here's the thing. The story's great. Masterpiece. It's just, do I want to hear it again? You don't need to hear it again. again. We don't need I to hear like it I feel like I'm again. being too loud. I feel like the little thing's going, dee, 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 dee. I was like, is it red? I feel like I have to whisper. Oh, oh it's going down. Do you think I See, that was bad. About me, what's mine doing? You, I, oh, these are both of ours? Yes. Oh my God, yeah, you were in a red, but though. You gotta really? keep, yeah, you were just in a red. Okay, so we'll you gotta watch down. yourself. Let's keep it down. But I'm bit. an enthusiastic person. You need to, but doesn't mean we have to yell at each other. I'm in a red, usually at all times. Mm, I remember when you were in kindergarten, mm -hmm. and there was a color system. It was oh like, my God, that was bullshit. I feel like a lot of times as parents, you hear these programs that these teachers tell you and it sounds great. No, they sugarcoat that shit to the max. What are your thoughts about the future? What do you think happens? I just think there's gonna be literally nothing the same. I agree. Because our generation is gonna be like older people and I feel like older people now, they teach you to be polite and I feel like it's slowly losing itself. Like, I've talked to a guy, it's just, it's gone. Some, I've met people that are so great, but I've also met people where I'm like, mm, We live in a society. I, do I trust you with my kids' future? Yeah, no. Do I trust you really to, you know, run a school? No. What's the scary, scariest movie in your opinion? October is coming up, baby. But scariest movie? I mean, listen, as a kid, it was Nightmare on Elm Street. That movie was psychological warfare because- No, I imagine back in your old, ye old days, that would have been terrifying because you can't really you fear going to bed. But when I saw it, because anything could happen in your sleep. Yeah, that's terrifying. If if that concept was made now with better effects, I would be f shitting myself constantly till this day. I guess that is the goal of horror films is to just get people to just shit themselves constantly. Yeah. What's the scariest movie you've ever seen? The trailer for Saw. I feel like Saw. They're just like we're just gonna cut people up. I like Saw. End of conversation, obviously. People like Saw. Obviously. Saw is a great franchise. They've made 130 of them. That's great. That is great. I'm just saying it's not. I'm glad for Saw. Ye old Saw. I'm, I'm glad you saw Saw, but I won't see Saw. I didn't see Saw. I saw the trailer for it. That was enough. You're like, I love this trailer. I love the trailer. I, I go around, not gonna lie, everyone I've ever met, they're like, what's the scary short film? Saw. That scene, that one scene where, you know, the leg gets cut off and everyone knows what I'm talking about. No clue what that scene is. Yeah. Oh, is it out? I don't, I don't know what it was. Okay. How See, does that even gone? happen? Eyelashes, they fall in, it's a whole thing. You're a pretty smart kid, huh? I'm genius, getting all A's in class right now. Thank you very much. Let's talk about it. What are you, what are you learning about? Health. Well, I feel like instead of learning so much about down there, we should be learning about up here in the heart. Yeah. No. Like, like, how do you have a relationship? How do you communicate to somebody? How do you? I'm, somebody? I'm honestly convinced a horny teen wrote my course book at this point. I feel like that's the type of vibe it's giving off. I do think there are some weird people running these curriculums that are like, me, 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 like at this point, I went for this again because I, I got a laugh, but it's, it's, it's it, too much. It, it pushed a lot. I tend to like try to push a little bit no. too much. I know, I should just, I should it's stop. It's better to give a hint of what it is 
then just drop the bombs. Oppenheimer of uh, comedy. <laughs> wasn't that great because yeah. I mean that was kind of a joke. Yeah. So I saw Oppenheimer two times. First time by myself. Like no, it. second time you fell asleep. I you can't say you watched it twice. But it's not because it was boring. It was because I didn't get a ton of sleep. If you were awake, I would have stayed through the whole thing. But this, you were dozing off. I really <laughs> liked it. I'm gonna watch it again with mom. I'll see it again back. with you guys. No. You guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Coco and Marcus, or actually Marcus and Coco together forever. It's actually we'll Coco always... and Marcus.